So here we are at the beginning of 2017, and once again, we're faced with lots of uncertainties and lots of questions. Major question people have is, with the new Trump presidency, what is the impact of that going to be on the economies of the world and the stock market? Other questions that I have are, well, how much does this building weigh? And could I still go a few rounds if I had to? All questions to be answered in 2017. One of the challenges that I'm facing now, after a successful year in 2016 and early success in 2017, is that a number of our shares, which have you know value-focused positions, which have been kind of had been kind of languishing, uh, have started to do quite well. And so, you know, the tendency is to to grab that profit, that 50% profit, but I know from past experience early on in my career that when you buy a security that's cheap, uh, just because you buy it doesn't mean that suddenly the share price goes up. In fact, it may languish for an extended period of time. It may go lower, actually. And I remember from my early on in my career that my investors would become impatient with a position. I'd start to doubt myself even at, at points in time. And so, you know, as the position started to finally do well, you would say few and sell it for a 50% gain, and then go on to watch it rise in, by multiples of its recent price. And so now, as we have success with our positions, uh, it's very important to remain disciplined and to remember their actual business values and to sell those securities as they enter the business value range as opposed to just responding like a knee-jerk response to some sudden appreciation.